Yo, what's good? We back with another episode of Another Day in a Life. And today we're going to talk about car wash and burn. Now, I think everybody knows about this toxic couple, ex-couple, whatever you want to call them. They were iconic. They were getting money together. They were living in Nassau. They were doing parties. They were doing shows, events. Then they went foreign and... I don't know. Somewhere down the line, they decided to part ways. Now, what brought them before me is the other day, it was car wash birthday. Happy birthday, Washi. And Bird decided to give her a shout out. Maybe it wasn't the best shout out. He said, happy birthday goes out to the biggest Jones that I know. Wish you many, it's supposed to be many, more. And then he tied her in the post, but she removed the tag. So this prompted many people that started laughing and they started laughing and clowning and getting off. But what she didn't take it funny. So she had to bring some receipts. She pulled a receipt. I ain't gonna lie. She pulled a receipt quicker than the lady who served me in Super Value this morning. And she pulled them receipts. Oh my God. She showed the conversation that Bird had slightly before Christmas, December 22nd. This was a few days ago. It's only the 8th of January. She showed when Bird pull up in the chat. Hey, I always have love for you. We rock the city different. And he posts and he sent her pictures of them together. I missed the movie. It's been the block season. Come collect your movie, y'all. So, she... This is why I said they were toxic because she also in the conversation saying, you still love me. He said, never stop. But life can't when it all happy, you happy. I don't understand this. It's like the worst people typing. I don't know. But she, she said she knew she was his person and she wished they could, uh, you know, endure. So, after this, you know, woman don't go, you go low, woman go to hell. Meaning, you could call a woman fat, woman could call you break, hey, you breaking them. Hey, your woman have cancer, no. hey, you got away, you, 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 you never have gas, and they will take it to the max. So, you know what she did? Let me show you what she did. She let them know, like, hey, you know what you're doing, movie, right? I love my movie like I love my country, bro. Like what nigga said? I love my movie like I love my country. And he doing things for me. We got a little bit of motion. You won't ever do these things for me. You know what I mean? But she still love him. See, the thing is, they still love each other, you know. But they just got to be, you know, like. They just got to have animosity towards each other. Sometimes, but you got to let things go. But... It's two roads. It's the high road and the low road. And you know which one Bird took. He took the low road. So he was away from his phone. And he, when he got back and he must be see what's going on, this prompted him to make a little response. Now, his response was about fifth. I think that was about 20, 30 minutes. But he was just roasting Kyle Washington, talking with she was prostitute and all that. We're not going to post all that. Just gonna do a little quick clip so you can see like what type of time he was on. I'm going to have a dog, but I used to be there every morning. I still just don't want to see what happens. I only wish you happy birthday, but you take that out of proportion like that. But I ain't even gonna address that situation because you've been selling pussy in fucking Miami for a long time, so that ain't even nothing new. You see what I'm saying? And that picture is just a little reminder of when you was in the shelters. You see what I'm saying? We get that's the shelters picture. You used to want people a little piece of wood. But anyway, I know. We went joke. You were just sharing the messages that I be telling you. Yeah, I be telling you all these things. We are more than a million fucking miles away. I already know you suicidal and then girl. I just tell you them things so you can take it easy. So you can feel like you in control. You see what I said? But at the end of the day, you already know I don't give a motherfucking flying flock. I fucking leave you sleeping when I go in New York. I don't leave you in New York and go and speak to fucking the mamas. What type of feelings you think that is? You won't leave me, no. I leave fucking you, girl. 
So you would think that would be the end of this whole debacle. But another ex came on the woodwork. Um, I can't pronounce his name. It's the Haitian American guy, Bahamian guy. He got like 19 different nationalities. But it's the guy who he in every post, bro. That nigga lurking. That's the guy who um trying to trademark the name, stop playing crackhead games. You need to stop playing crackhead games, bro. For one, you don't eat that girl bungy, her crabby. You don't let her stick a dildo down and deep off in your ass, right? And now look at you. You in Nassau, Bahamas, and you can't come back to the United States, and you're living poor. Yeah, yeah so Kyle Wash re-spin the block to solidify that, hey, I mess with you, I hear my nigga. And she did this in the coldest way possible. Take a look. She tied Bird, Michael Sweden. And she says, whilst you calling me names, a nigga bussin all over my face. Ouch. And she shows what appears to be some lotion or aloe and goes further and posts a status and asks, hey, how it tastes. <laughs> wow. But hey, this is just another day in the life. And I keep on living. We out. Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when we drop.